We have a new segment, Therapy Thursday. Putting it on Thursday, folks. Every other week here on News 9 at 4 o'clock. And I already like the music, right? We're it's got, calming. Yeah, it's a calming, calming music tone there. All right. And joining us is McKenna Zinn, licensed therapist with Sunbeam Family Services. And we're, and we're talking about stress and the body's stress response system. Yes, so, that is correct. So what exactly do we do and what do you mean by that? So um, when I talk about stress, I think most people hear the word stress and they automatically think it's something bad. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my gosh, we don't want stress. We need to be scared of it. Yeah. But in reality, there's actually two different types of stress. So the first one that I want to talk about is positive stress. And you may think, how can stress be positive? How can it be good? Um, but positive stress is whenever it's short term, it's very predictable, it's manageable, and it's controllable. So an example of that would be like, let's say you're a kid in school or even in college and you mm -hmm. have a test coming up. Mm -hmm. You know it's coming, it's manageable, you can study for it, and actually small bursts of stress like that yeah. can be good for us. You can help with the outcome, like how much you study or maybe the sleep you got the night before. Okay, that makes sense. And then move on to the negative for us. Yes. So negative is something, it's the type of stress where it's not as controllable, it's not as predictable, it's very chronic, which means it goes on for a long period of time. So an example of negative stress might be something like trauma or emotional or verbal abuse. You know, um, mm -hmm. for people who are going through that, it's not as predictable, it's not as manageable, yeah. they can't control it when it's going to happen, when it's not going to happen. So what are the things that we can do to manage this stress, whether it be positive or negative? Yeah, there's a couple different things that you can do to manage stress. Um, I mean, one would be just coping skills in general, um, you know, and that would be for a different time, different place. Mm -hmm. But um, for people who feel like they're experiencing that negative stress that's really chronic and they're having a hard time managing it, you know, something that they might be might need to look into is uh, therapy um, and that's just you know a great opportunity to have some additional support when they're experiencing that extra stress okay so we got to get to this a response to stress you're talking about fight flight freeze we've heard these or fawn can you yes. hit the fawn one yes because absolutely. that's that's pretty new uh -huh. at least to our ears yeah most people haven't heard of that one so um, you know I think of let's say you're in the woods you come across a bear. I'm going to use this example to help explain okay, it. Hey, yeah. Um, I know this it's a little strange. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you come across a bear, and you know, let's say that uh, one of your responses might be fawn. So instead of like running away or getting ready to fight or yeah. freezing up, you pull out a granola bar, and you're like, "Hey, bear, I'm going to try to appease you by giving you this granola bar." That so wouldn't be me, but okay. So you're right. gentle with the situation, yes. or butter them up, appeasing, kind of buttering them up, okay. walking around on eggshells, trying oh. to avoid the conflict. Oh, yeah, that okay. is that is a response. Okay. Yeah. That music means we're done. We, that we ran out of time. <laughs> yeah. You were wonderful, McKenna. Really great information. Good to see you today. If you want to learn more yeah. about Sunbeam Family Services, visit their website. We have all that information there for you on the screen. And we'll